perhaps one of the worst scandals in the history of Miami-Dade County. What makes it so scandalous, if you will, is the fact that it was done on the backs of poor people. I'm Debbie Sensper with the Miami Herald. The Herald spent seven months investigating the Miami-Dade Housing Agency and found that the housing agency has squandered millions of dollars on insider deals and pet projects, giving developers millions of dollars for houses that were never built. Um, money is gone, and what the developers left behind were empty lots all over the county where they had promised houses for the poor. One of the housing agency's most high-profile project is Hope 6, which is the rehabilitation of Scott Carver Public Housing in Liberty City. Six years after the housing agency received $35 million from the federal government and promised to build 411 new homes and revitalize the community, almost nothing has been built. They've left behind uh, a wasteland, a destroyed community of boarded up buildings and construction rubble, dis and displaced families all over the county. People are going to be prosecuted and put in jail. I want my home. I want my dream home. I really do. All over the county, there are thousands of families who need affordable housing. One person that we met was Ozzy Porter, who saved $5,000 for a house on a cafeteria cook's salary. I didn't give up. I didn't, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Still, I'm going to have my dream home. And I can tell you this. Beginning very shortly, you are going to see people be locked up 